Welcome to Slow Mo Lab and today we're going to talk about styrofoam. Everybody uses styrofoam plates, cups, food containers and everything else. But do you realize that it could be dangerous for your health? Polystyrene found in styrofoam migrates very easily to food, beverages and such when it, come to, when it comes to contact with the oils, acids or just heat. We're going to demonstrate just how easily the styrofoam decomposes with the simple acid acetone. It does the same chemical reaction when it comes into contact with heat oils or any other acid it's just not as violent so we're going to demonstrate just how easily it happens and film it in slow motion so we're about to demonstrate how easily the styrofoam decomposes over 100 cities in the u.s actually have banned styrofoam among them is new york city that approved the, approved the ban beginning 2015. check this out Amazing, but this little plate could take over 1 million years to decompose. Moreover, when you put warm food on it, on oils, or some food that is acidic, or if you just left the food container in the car, your food absorbs the polystyrene. So if you're still using the styrofoam for cups, plastics, forks, containers, get rid of them. Or at the very least, try to limit its exposures to the oils, acids, and heat. Whew, I need my coffee. Wait a minute. 